Welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ and we're going to be taking a look at a couple of new items that we have in stock. For example, we just got in some new current keepers in to keep those uh, engines and gears up and running. So we got the Broadway Limited Go Pack. Alright, brand new in stock here. And then we also got this brand new current keeper from uh, Soundtrack. These are just a little bit, um, it's the same exact thing as the old style, it's just a little bit different design. So if you have a locomotive that won't take the wide, uh, the long one, but likes the wide one, this is uh, what you want to go for, okay? So Broadway Limited uh, retails for $30, we are selling it for $25, and the soundtrack retails for $30 as well, so we're selling that for $24. So we got a couple of, a uh, bunch of these in stock, so if you want to get your engines uh, with Keep Alive, we're your place to come. Speaking of more trains here we got some really nice atherne ready to roll cars here we have the individual uh hopper cars here and then we also have the multi-packs the individual cars are super detailed they're really nice looking cars this is a burlington northern one uh these cars are selling for 26 dollars roughly um it's like 25 58 i think is the actual price these cars are really cool and then we also have the three pack of the hopper cars here all individually numbered so if you want to have a really long grain train happening here this is what uh, you would want to get uh, one of these three packs here so these look great retail for uh in our store for 75 dollars hey let's take a look at some more rolling stock all right, so if you take a look here, we got some uh, more Atherin box cars here, and these are uh, great looking pieces here. And we actually, some of the new things that we got here, they call these Prime for Grime, okay? What that means is some of these uh, cars are actually weathered, or they have various patchworks. Like if we take a look at that car right there, you can see kind of like various different paint jobs or like a repair need to be done. So it's a ultra realism type of thing happening because as we see the trains, they're not perfect, okay? Let's get right out of the shop. There's gonna be some type of imperfections on there. So if you want a realistic looking uh, environment for your uh, rolling stock, this is what you wanna get right here. And we got a couple of those in stock and I have a bunch more upstairs. Hey, let's take a look at some diesel, shall we? We got a whole bunch of Atherin diesel locomotives here. These are the SD452s. Um, these are really neat locomotives that we just got in stock. And we actually have some that are prime for grime. So if you want some weathered type of locomotives there, we got uh, we got you covered right there. We also have the nice prestigious ones like I like. I like my engines looking nice. So we, got, uh, we still have those as well. We got a couple of the SD40-2s from Atherins. These have the... Um, a lot of really neat looking detail. For example, this is the Union Pacific United Y1. Nice red, white, and blue action happening there. And then we also have the Desert Victory one. And if you take a look here, we got a nice Desert Victory looking one with camouflage. Doesn't get any better than that. All right, we also have a couple other ones here. We have um, some Rock Island. We got a bunch of other diesels happening in various different uh, road names and paint schemes. So you're probably wondering how much. So the SD45s are selling for $255. They retail for $300. We got them for $255. And these guys, we got super sales on them. We're selling them for $149.99. So it's a really great deal for a really nice looking locomotive. Speaking of these engines, you know, it's nice to see them in the box, but truthfully, I want to see them on the layout. So let's go check them out. All right, so we got a bunch of these diesels up here on our test track to, uh, to take a look at. As Maximus said in Gladiator, kind of, are you not in the trains? Sort of. No? Maybe? Oh. Alright. So let's take a look at one of the SD40s that we have here. Okay? And if you take a look at this beautiful detailing there, it's uh, Union Pacific pulling for the United Way. Nice little logo detailing happening there. Got the stars and stripes happening there. A lot of really great detail. And as I mentioned before, when we were talking about the Dash 8s, a lot of times, a lot of these manufacturers, and Athens no exception, put in like the little detailing with the different caution logos and the high voltage. There's even a little thing in the door, probably just swings out or something. Uh, a lot of really neat detail on, the, on these locomotives. So that's a really neat one to have. Getting to the SD, or uh, yeah, the SD45s. We got a Santa Fe locomotive here, decked out in the red, white, and blue paint scheme. You could use this for multiple uh, purposes on your railroad, celebrating, uh, you know, uh, 4th of July, Memorial Day, just had 9-11 come out, so this is a great uh, way to show your country pride while also running a locomotive on your railroad. 
If you take a look at these three locomotives right here, we got an example of the different variations that Atherns has put in. First of all, we got just a basic Erie Lackawanna locomotive here, which is a very sharp engine. It has the, you know, the gray with the, um, I guess the Tuscan or kind of like a brown. I'm sure people will correct me on the comments, but uh, it's just, I think it's a really great looking paint scheme here. And as you can see up front too, we have the Erie Lackawanna logo right there. Um, I mean, take a look at that. They put like the little silver tips on the hoses there. There's a lot of really great detailing happening in here. Now, what happens is Ather made a couple of different variations. And this is kind of like the transition period when Conrail took them over. So if you can see now in comparison to the old one, you see how it has the Erie Lackawanna font there. Well, now we got the Conrail renumbering font right there. The logo is actually gone entirely, and it has this a CR for Conrail. And if you take a look at the front, now this says CR. And what's really neat about it is this is one of those prime to grind locomotives. As you can see, it's not as pristine as, say, the Erie locomotive was, where it looks nice and sharp there. So, kind of showing more of that ultra realism. And then Athern went a step further and kind of made another transition locomotive. This is kind of one that still has Erie Lackawanna. They didn't get the time to uh, paint over it, but it still has the Conrail, still has the Conrail number on there. Again, it still has the uh, Conrail logo in the front. We can kind of do a comparison, see the three locomotives head on. Just a, a great detailing on these engines here. Uh, I think this is such a great paint scheme and you can kind of get all three and do kind of like a transition area. Hey, Conrad, this bought them out. Whoops. Conrad, this bought them out. So you got the, uh, got the, the engine on the Erie Lackawanna. We got a transitionary period and then a later one with, uh, more details, uh, for Conrad. So great locomotives, great engines happening there. Here we have just another one, uh, two different variations here. We have kind of like an all gray and blue paint scheme. I actually think this one's really cool looking because you can see all the bottom it, parts the fuel tank the trucks everything are all this uh blue color i think that's a really sharp looking engine and then we have the more traditional kind of what we see uh when we see cxx and as you can see once again we got all the different detailing for the different cautions or warning labels um builder plate there there's a whole bunch of detail happening on these locomotives that's just outstanding all right so uh, i got two uh eerie uh, locomotives uh, hooked up here so uh let's take them out shall we stock cars I want to talk about here. The first one I get are these flat cars from Scale Trains. These are really nice looking cars here. They have the finger racks on them so you could put different loads in there that would fit on them. Uh, we got the oxide red, we got a uh, bright yellow, and then we got kind of a more muted mustard kind of yellow. All right, so we have also those Athern box cars that I was showing you a little uh, bit ago. But of course, I like to see things out of the box. As you can see, this is one of those prime for grind cars. And if you take a look here, we got some various different types of patchwork, whether there was graffiti that was on there that had to be uh, painted up, or whether it was uh, actual rust that the car had to be patched up and repaired there. This is kind of more of a realistic type of car that we would see on the railroad. And it even has the reflective stripes on there too, which is really cool. So. A lot of detail for not a lot of money, so that's always good. And if you take a look at what we have here, we have a whole bunch of different uh, variations. We got CXX there. We got the uh, Railbox. We got the Green Bay and Western. We got another Prime for Grind cars. You can see we got some patchwork happening up there. Uh, and then we got the Wisconsin Central one that I showed you a minute ago. So these are really great looking cars. Uh, as I said, I know uh, 
sometimes we don't have a ton of money that we want to spend on our toys but these are very economical cars that we can uh, put on our layout and uh, create a nice lawn train for uh, your enjoyment to recreate what you see out there in person so speaking of creating a train let's make one train right now involving all our new things that we just talked about All aboard! All right, thank you for checking out some of the new products we have here at Yankee Dabbler. We are open from Tuesday to Saturday, 9 to 5. And of course, we're always open on our website, yankeedabbler.com. So thank you very much for checking us out. And hey, make sure you give Engineer Hall, uh, uh, you subscribe to his channel so you can be updated on all the newest things happening at our store. So until next time, thanks for watching. Happy routing. Take care. Oh, oh, oh. Race, oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down I'm grinding on like a holy rail and I'll hit the slows and go ham Pray, oh no, I cannot take this slow I'm grinding on like the holy rail and I'll hit the slows and go crawl Yeah, race, oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down I'm grinding on like the holy rail and I'll hit the